Hi. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm okay. I came to pick up prescri a prescription. Oh, okay, is the prescription for you or for yes, someone else? Yes, for me. And then what's your name? Goldie Rush. Okay. Hi, Miss Rush. My name is Sarah. I'm the pharmacist here today. I did fill a prescription for you earlier. I noticed it's a new medication you haven't taken before. Do you mind if we take about five minutes just so I can talk to you about how to use the medication, what sorts of things to look out for and answer any questions you may have? Sure. Perfect, so you can go ahead and have a seat. So before we get started, I'd just like to go over your profile to make sure we have everything up to date. How's okay. that sound? So do you mind verifying your date of birth for me? 1173. Okay, perfect. And is this still a good address and phone number for you? Yes. Okay, I don't have any allergies on file for you. Do you have any medication allergies? No. Okay. And as far as prescription medications, I do see you use that orally uh, dissolving tablet the on Dancitron or the Zofran. Are you still using that one? Um, not yet. Not yet? Okay. And then also I see that you have the cyclophosphamide, the doxorubicin, kind of complicated names. Those are those chemotherapy agents. Mm -hmm. And that's um, every two weeks, correct? Um, once I start chemotherapy. Okay, so you haven't day. started yet. Right. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started talking about the medication you're picking up today. The name of it is Compazine. The mm -hmm. generic version that you're getting today is called Prochlorperazine. A little bit of a mouthful, so we like to go with Compazine because it's easier. Okay. So what is your understanding of why Dr. Bryan has prescribed this for you? Um, that I'm supposed to take it if I start feeling nauseous after chemotherapy. Yeah, that's exactly right. So one of those side effects of chemotherapy is potentially feeling a little ill, nauseous, and we want to make yeah. sure that we do as best as we can to help with that. Right. You okay, ma'am? Um, yeah. Just so, you know, a little yeah. scared. I can't even imagine. I understand it must be a very difficult time you're going through right yeah. now. Um, Thank you. Yeah, do you have a support system at home that's helping you with this? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we just want to make sure we do the best we can to make sure that this is a, not a terrible experience for you and that if you feel those side effects, that we are helping you with the medications to ensure that you don't have to deal with anything worse than what's, what you need to deal with, okay? Okay. Okay, so how did the doctor tell you to take the medication? So I'm supposed to take it, the Zofran okay. first, right? And then mm -hmm. that doesn't work, then I can try that. That's correct. So that Zofran is a tablet you're gonna let dissolve on your tongue. It's an eight milligram tablet that you're gonna use as needed. If that isn't working for you, you can go ahead and use this medication. It's a 10 milligram tablet. It looks just like this. There's five in here. You're gonna take one tablet by mouth three or four times a day as an alternate to the Zofran if it's not working for you. Okay. Okay, there are three refills on here, so whenever you're running a little low, please give us a call so we can go ahead and get another one ready for you in case if you need it, okay? We do like to talk to patients about what to do if they miss a dose of something for any reason, but since this isn't as an as-needed medication, you don't need to worry about that. But if for any reason you don't have the medication on you, you can take it as soon as you remember to, okay? okay. And that's up to three to four times a day. And you wanna just store this at room temperature in a cool, dry place away from where anyone else can get into it. Okay, you can do this with or without food, but if for any reason it causes any upset stomach, you can take it with a light snack, okay? Okay. Now, what did the doctor tell you to expect? Um, that it should help with the nauseousness. Exactly. If I need it. Exactly, so if you end up using this one instead of the Zofran or in addition to it, you should start to feel better in about 30 to 60 minutes after you take that first dose, okay? Okay. May cause some dizziness, possible drowsiness, doesn't happen to everyone, but if it does, I just want you to be aware of it. Just if you're lying down, be careful when you get up, just rise a little slowly to avoid any dizziness. Okay. okay? It could possibly, if you get too dizzy to where you feel like you're going to faint, that's something that you wanna call the doctor about right away, this may not be a good medication for okay. you. If you also have trouble controlling body movements, very rare, but possible, that's something you call the doctor about as well. Okay, so what questions do you have for me so far? Um, none, I just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, okay. So I know it was a lot of information we covered and this is a very stressful time for you. Just to make sure I covered my bases, do you mind teaching back to me how you're gonna use the medication? Um, three to four times a day as okay. needed. Yes, that's exactly right. Like I said, it can be with or without food. Take mm -hmm. it with a snack if you feel like you're getting an upset stomach. And you do have three refills on it, so give us a call whenever you're running low so you'll never be out of it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna send you home with this medication guide. It covers everything we talked about today. Just go home, read it over. If you have any questions later, my phone number is right here on the bottle. I wanna make sure you get the best possible treatment, so if anything comes up, please feel free to give me a call, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Rush. You have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you. Thank you.